So today I will share to you how I made my money tree. So I want you to take a look at this. This is kind of old. I just realized I should make a video of this because a lot of bride can get an idea from this one. So as a bride, you have two choices. Either you spend money to save time or spend time to save money. Well, I just, I'm a practical person. I want to save money most all of the time, so you know. So, this is very simple. Literally, I think three or four steps. First, get box. Three different boxes, okay? So, I got this from the garage. These three boxes. And I covered it. Second, I covered it with a gift wrap. I actually forgot where did I get the gift wrap from, but... You can see this is like a stripe, uh, pastel blue, light blue. But when you take picture of this, it looks like gray. So this is so nice. And then after you gift wrap it, use a glue stick to attach them together. Just attach them together using glue stick, okay? Glue gun and glue stick. And then after that, the fourth step. The fourth step is make your own design so for me i got this one from michael's this is very useful to me i use this on my bottom here i use this on my wedding bouquets i use this here on my money tree and then i use this also to a lot of things you know i made a video for the bottom but it's not a good one but i think you can still have an idea on how how i made this because you know i was not planning to make really a vlog regarding to this one my main point right now is to share for you for the brides out there to have an idea okay so i wasn't able to take video of this while i'm doing this because i was too focused to do this it took me like one to two hours to do this and then you know you just need this silver thing from michael's also the ribbons whatever is your motive is and then that's it you just match it on your motive and then you make your own design. The reason why I put actually this ribbon is to cover some errors because I'm not really good in gift wrapping. So, you know, I just make use of this. This this is the one that makes this elegant actually, not the box, not everything, and also the hole, okay? How are you going to make a hole? This time, I think for me, I made an error because I put it on the top where the small box is and then it's kind of broken because I didn't expect that there's a lot of people who's gonna give me a card and who's gonna me give a big card, okay? So we have a small, small envelope on our wedding, but I didn't expect that they prepare their own. So basically, it just, if you don't want to put it on top, put it on the middle and then put some borders like this also, the silver borders, and it will look elegant. And it doesn't look like I spent less than 20 bucks for this one, actually. So I hope it helps you and good luck on your wedding. Bye.